What is going on, everyone? We have some news regarding who will be the starting quarterback in the Week 3 preseason matchup against the New Orleans Saints. The Houston Texans will be traveling to New Orleans. The game will be played on Sunday night at 7 o'clock. The final preseason game for the Houston Texans. Then we play some real football. But we also have some news regarding if the rest of the starters, second team, are going to be playing. We are going to talk about that next. Welcome, everyone, to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I am your host, Ruben Calvillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content, so make sure you guys are following me on my Twitter, Instagram, TikTok for the latest Houston Texans news, rumors, and updates. And if you are new here to the channel, welcome. We just hit 7K, trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the season. Thank you guys so much for the endless support. Let's go, Houston Texans. Now let's talk about who is going to be playing against the New Orleans Saints this Sunday. But first, some Houston Texans news, rumors, and updates. The Texans have re-signed undrafted Duke safety Darius Joyner and waived injured safety Tyree Gillespie. Joyner was signed in the spring and then released in May when they signed defensive end Jacob Martin. That wasn't the Houston Texans' only move in the secondary. This is from Aaron Wilson. Texans signed in former Vikings cornerback Cameron Dantzler, former Vikings third-round pick for Mississippi State who has 149 tackles and three interceptions, played 75% of the defense's snaps last year. The Houston Texans have added some depth to their secondary. What does Cameron Dantzler bring to the Houston Texans? Three years with the Minnesota Vikings, three interceptions, two in his rookie year, one in his sophomore year. But you saw his snap count decrease every year since his rookie year. I don't know what we are going to get from Cameron Dancer. Do we see a career revived under head coach D'Amico Reigns? It will not surprise me at all. But I like that the Houston Texans are continuing to add to this team to try to build a winning football team. Now we have some news regarding wide receiver Tank Dell and why he didn't play against the Miami Dolphins. This is from Aaron Wilson. Rookie Tank Dell dressed out for practice. He was held out of game with hamstring and back tightness as a precautionary measure. Look, I didn't think Tank Dell was going to play the rest of this preseason anyway. I like that the Houston Texans liked what they saw in the week one matchup against the Patriots. Five catchers, 65 yards, one tutty. Me and my boy Harley both came out here and said, yeah, we do not need to see Tank Dell no longer. I don't know if we are going to see him against the New Orleans Saints, but it's nice to hear that Tank Dell is 100% ready to go. Now we hear about... Who is going to be the starting quarterback against the New Orleans Saints this Sunday? This is from Jonathan Alexander. Texans coach D'Amico Ryan said C.J. Stroud will be the first quarterback out against the Saints. Three starts for Stroud in the preseason. Wow, I did not think the Houston Texans were going to throw out C.J. Stroud. But we also have some news regarding the rest of the starters. This is from D.J. Biennemi. D'Amico Ryan says everyone will play on Sunday against the New Orleans Saints. The starters will play about two series. Man, let's freaking go. Usually during the last week of the preseason, head coaches rest their starters, rest their role players. You don't want to get any injuries right before week one. But I love it. And here's why. When you look at the other performances by rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud, the one against the Patriots that left a horrible taste in your mouth. Two of four, a ugly ass interception. He was running for his life because the offensive line did not have Larry Tunsil or Shaq Mason. You needed to see more. Going to the game against Miami a couple of days ago, a much better game, 7 of 12, 60 yards, was the quarterback on the drive where the Houston Texans scored their only three points. C.J. Stroud also showcased command in the pocket and two great throws with elite ball placement. One, a third and seven to wide receiver Robert Woods, a 10 yard out. The other one, a play action pass on the move to number 85, Noah Brown. Two great catches. Go look them up. No scoring drive, though, from C.J. Shedd, right? He didn't throw or rush for a touchdown. That's why I think you need to see more. Also, 
I don't know if you guys have forgot, but the Houston Texans had an opportunity to score. They were right at the goal line, and they turned the ball over on downs with the fourth down miscommunication between C.J. Stroud and Dalton Schultz. Those are the kind of things that I want to see the Houston Texans clean up. That's why I am excited and encouraged that C.J. Stroud is playing against the New Orleans Saints. Iron out all the kinks right now. Give him as much real life game time reps before they actually start. I am I am surprised that the Houston Texans are putting out their starters, but shout out to them. They are prioritizing their rookie. They are prioritizing their future. They are trying to make sure he is a hundred percent ready to go against the Baltimore Ravens. What do I want to see from him? And I need to see a tutty. I need to see a touchdown from C.J. Stroud, either on the first series and I no longer have to see you again or on the second series because you're only going to get two C.J. Stroud. Does having only two series add to the pressure for the rookie? I don't know. What I want to see from the rest of the starting offense, the offensive line needs to do exactly what it did against Miami Dolphins. Keep C.J. Stroud upright, but they also need to create lanes for the running backs. The Houston Texans had a hard time on the ground last week against the Dolphins. I need to see one of these wide receivers step up. Is it going to be Tank Dell? Is he going to play? I don't want Tank Dell to play. He already showed me he could be a potential number one wide receiver for this team. Nico Collins needs to step up to the occasion. He needs to show something because I thought it was going to happen against the Dolphins last week when there was no Tank Dell. There was nothing from Nico besides two catches. That's fine and dandy, but you need to assert yourself as a playmaker for this Houston Texans offense. What I need to see from this defense, man, don't give up 28 points. Don't give up 170 yards on the ground. Bring back that swarm mentality that head coach D'Amico Ryans has been preaching, which stands for special work ethic and relentless mindset. Other than that, let's get this preseason over with. I am ready for some Houston Texans real football, but I am encouraged that the Houston Texans are giving C.J. Stroud another practice game, real life reps, Get all those rookie mistakes out of the way, man. Shout out to the Houston Texans. I really like this. Let me know what you guys think about CJ Stroud on the rest of the starters. Get in two series against the New Orleans Saints. And as always, for more Houston Texans content, come back for more. Go Houston Texans. Y'all have a very blessed day.